What's up guys? Welcome back. Yes, you know I told you guys I was going to do a series on some of my favorite movies being about mob, gangs, drugs, you know the, uh, the good stuff <laughs> that we like to watch on TV. But I wanted to do a series on um, some of my favorite movies, just uh, pretty much sticking my two cents into it on how much I believe it was true and how much, you know, uh, they put a little, like we say in Mexico, crema on the tacos. But my first one, being one of my top, top, top ones, Boston, Boston George from the movie Blow. <laughs> Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong What's up, JC with Wrong Strong? If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe Hit the like button, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. If you are part of my Wrong Strong family, welcome back. Thank you for the support, homies. Get ready. Everybody get on the Suburban. Let's put some gas in it so we don't end up in the wrong neighborhood. And let's chase some motherfucking rammers. What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about the movie Blow. Boston George. Uh, I want to start off with this one because he actually... Ended up in the federal prison where I was at, Latuna. Latuna Federal Prison in El Paso, Texas. It was actually a pretty sweet yard when I was there. And of what I've heard, it's still pretty sweet. He got out in June 2014 after serving nearly 20 years for drug smuggling charges. But on December of 2016, he was arrested for violating his parole. He's back out now in 2017, but if you watch the movie, uh, most of it is very, very, you know, dead on. This is the reason why I wanted to start off with this one. You know, thumbs up. <laughs> it's dead on just because of when you're making money with your friends in, in that circle, that environment, that, that world. Uh, yeah, everybody's your best friend. Everybody's around you. Everybody wants to be your friend. 36 hours. 36 hours? I don't believe we got rid of it in 36 hours. I think it's fair to say you underestimated the market, Derek. Right on. It's going to take us longer to count it than it did to sell it. Sure. Hola, amigos. Here you go. 1.35 million. Any place in particular you'd like to count? <laughs> Friend, everybody uh, likes you. You know, when you're you're bringing a lot of money to, to the circle, to the table, however you want to call it. But with that also comes a lot of backstabbing. Of course we are brothers. Fucked me. I did not. <laughs> yeah, you did. 
You went behind my back, you cut me out, you fucked me. Me? No. Never, George. <laughs> Never. Yeah, it happened to me, and it happens to everybody in that world. The backstabbing starts because then they want what you have. They want your spotlight. They want the money that you're making. They want your connect. They want everything that you have. Uh, in the movie, in the movie, he makes the big mistake of introducing his connect to his friend. Maybe I did betray you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and what happens is that he ends up taking his connect and his connect supposedly being his friend you know does the same thing because of money did you get to meet your connection was she good enough huh huh shut up diego I'm gonna fucking be here any minute. I'm trying to concentrate. Carajo. Okay? I'm very angry with you, George. Very angry. You don't take me to California, but you take your bitch wife. A woman. Derek for real. What? Derek for real. Derek fucking for real, all right? And then it just starts that whole ripple effect. Um, same thing happened to me when I brought one of my close friends to Mexico with me to meet uh, my direct line in Michoacan. They actually started talking, they uh, uh, exchanged numbers, and next thing you know, um, he was a very, very busy man, just like they say in the movie Blow. Uh, he's a very busy man, and that's when uh, George goes and visits him at the island, and uh, yeah, you guys are familiar with that scene. The reason why this is one of my top favorite movies is that everything's dead on. You know, um, you have the parts of the movie where he becomes somebody, didn't want to be poor as a kid, and I think that most of us have been in this game. Um, I don't be poor because I don't ever want to be poor. Then you won't. I decided right then and there I wasn't going to live like that. I needed to get as far away as possible. Pretty much could connect with that, with that scene where you grow up with very limited stuff, so you don't want to be like that as you get old, and you don't want your kids to be like that. So you do what you have to do to make it happen, you know. But at the end of the day, I think if you're really, really honest with yourself, it's more for you than anybody else because you enjoy the big cars, the big money, the big house, and everything that comes with it. You could sit there and lie all you want. I couldn't stop you if I wanted to, could I? Probably not. No. <laughs> it's good. Got a family. And lie all you want, you but you enjoyed the attention the spotlight and everything that came with it now karma karma catches up to everybody no matter what i'm a firm believer in the karma now his friends fucked him over but then his friends get fucked over also um you know uh you guys remember the story I told you guys about me getting set up at the nightclub, right? Well, karma has a, fine, a way of finding itself. Those two individuals that set me up that night, karma found them, one sooner than the other. But they're both, you know, uh, doing time now for, for things that I don't think they're ever going to be able to uh, get out of. And... You know, I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, but this is what I mean when you're involved in that lifestyle and in that that way of making money in such big quantities is that. <sighs> Let's do it. Don't 
You have a nasty head, asshole! Put your hands on me! Listen, you didn't even a fucking cocaine dealer! He has a kill on his throat right now! Look, look, miss. It's greed, it's power, it's just it's just plain evil. And it finds a way to almost transform you and transform everybody around you. At the end, he ends up being set up by his friends. He ends up being set up by his wife. And what does he lose? He loses his kid, the promise that he made to his kid. Because remember, at one time, all of us that have been in the game, we were that kid. At one time, we were that kid that, that the, our parents promised us something and didn't, we didn't, they didn't come through. So he... What are we going to do for money? Martha, please. I will talk to Augusto tonight and I'll start working for him, okay? Just tell me! Just answer the fucking question! Through. So he loses that with his kid. Now he goes to jail and his dad passes away while he's in jail. Jail. His kid, his daughter grows up and becomes a, a, you know, a woman and he doesn't see her until he gets out. And that's the part that at the end of the movie uh, where he's uh, doing some stuff on the yard and then he thinks he has a visit and his daughter's gonna come and visit him. That's the mental health part that I tell people about while you're doing time, that you start to leave little pieces of your heart throughout the years and you'll never get those back, never. It's, it's messed up but you come out still broken. Even when you're released, you still come out broken because all those pieces of your heart, your soul that were left throughout those years of doing what you did and then doing the time, you never, never get them back. And this is why I stress so hard about change. Becoming somebody different. Okay, so you did time, you paid your debt to society, you come out, help somebody, don't to not make the mistakes that you made. Help, help somebody not do the time that you did. Help somebody see the truth behind the big chains, the cars, the women, the, the amount of money and, and all that stuff. Help somebody, pull somebody out of that. cleaned up my act. I didn't do anything. No drink, no nothing. Sober as a judge. My life was all about Christine. Being with her, taking care of her. I wanted to be a father, a good father, just like my old man was to me. Gonna take a freight train down at the station I don't care of that fire because if you do that then that other person could pull somebody else out and not make the mistakes that uh you made and i think that's what uh you know boston george is doing now you know um i've i've seen some uh public speaking that he's doing and and you know um helping people realize that at the end of the day it's not worth it all the money all the cars all that stuff is not worth it and this is why you know um that ending is so sad. It's what you should connect with at the end because at the end of the day, he was left with nothing. No family, no money, no friends, nothing. And that's what that life le leaves at the end. My name's JC, I am Wrong Strong. Remember, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage. And at the end of the day, you have one life. If you live it right, that's all you need.